This one is titled Growth as a Man in Our Relationship and Failure. Can you say that again? Growth as a man in our relationship and failure. Growth as a man. Right. In our it, relationship. It, okay. Okay. I wasn't, the, the beginning of it didn't sound like that to me the first time you said it. Okay. I got you now though. All right. Now we're on it. Hi both. I need some guidance from you if you will. Cast guidance. <laughs> <laughs> 1d4 on your next uh, ability score check. Oh man. Watch me say some super smart stuff. <laughs> that There's that d4. <laughs> rolled a two <laughs> Fuck. um i need some guidance from you if you will it wasn't even the end of the sentence yeah That's well funny. they wanted guidance i gave it to them they wanted bless that same thing i cast bless enhance ability enlarge reduce like what do you, what do you need i got you over here <laughs> i just updated my spell list <laughs> that reminds me i need to go through and look at mine yeah that's funny uh, my partner and I have been watching you for the past year now, and as a young couple, and as a young couple, find you to be a great relational resource and example. That's awesome. That is awesome. Changing the narrative one episode at a time. Mm-hmm. I don't think a few years ago that either of us would have envisioned wanting to create a relationship based on traditional values. But believe, but we believe that being traditionally masculine and feminine in most aspects of a relationship makes sense, makes us stronger and happier as individuals and as a couple. And it gives us a clear and more enjoyable path to shape our life together around. How are you able to sit there and let her lick you like that? Um, it's <laughs> fucking giving me anxiety watching it. I just looked over at Carrie and Carrie looked over at me going, I can hear it. I can too. <laughs> And you're just completely ignoring it, dude. I'd be fucking freaking out over that. I got kids. I don't know. Like, it don't bother me. <laughs> I fucking hate dog licks. They lick their butthole. We had this conversation while playing Call of Duty. That's as far yeah. as we go with that conversation. Yeah. I almost killed Dragon with that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Lila, we're talking about you. Yeah. I heard you tell her earlier. I don't like that. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> now you made me hyper aware of it, and now I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> now my skin's like super sensitive. She's self soothing over there. I want to call the cops. <laughs> the issue I'm having is that I was never shown how to be a man, what it means to be a man, and how to embody my masculine energy with conviction and confidence. Pause. That's also a lie and bullshit. Because we are shown how to be men, but it's not demonized. It's not a good representation of what a man is because it's being skewed in television and TV shows and music mm-hmm. and the things that sway cultural opinion has changed what the definition of a man is. Right. So you have ex you have examples. They're just not good ones because that's what they want. They want weak, broken, frail ass men. Mm-hmm. And that's why the fathers in all the sitcoms are always a fucking joke. They're never. Yeah. The kids get to run over top of them and tell them what to do. And the, the wives make fun of them. And they're the stupid fucking mm-hmm. characters and all the, the child shows growing up now. So you have examples of a man. It's just, they're yeah. just not good examples of what a man is. There are certain shows and movies that I don't let the kids watch anymore because it makes me sad for knowing that our son is watching that happen to a dad yeah. in a TV show. Yeah. Or a husband. I watched you go through Netflix for over an hour the other day, removing yeah. shows from that shit. Yeah, I did. All right. Okay. Continuing on. I'm having to learn from scratch, and I'm realizing the gap between how I want it to be and how I am is large. This becomes especially evident when having to be a man in a relationship. I am 23 years old, so I give myself enough slack to remain aware of what I have to learn instead of being a victim about not yet being where I want to be. And pause you again. If you say, I have a tendency or a habit mm. or I give myself slack, you're making excuses. Right. If you are aware of what the problem is and you're not doing the work to fix it, you're not doing the work to fix it. Mm-hmm. So in this situation where you're giving yourself slack, there's it's okay to give yourself a little bit of grace when you make a mistake. Like, damn, that was wrong. Okay, mental check note. Need to fix that. Move on. Fix mm-hmm. that. But if it 
you cut yourself some slack and it happens. And then the next time it happens, you're like, damn, I knew better slacking again. Next time it happens. Well, you know, I'm just slacking. You're making excuses for your behavior. Where's the change? Where's the accountability? And how are you going to fucking actually get your shit together? Because you're telling yourself it's okay to fall apart. I give myself grace. I'm only human. Yeah, you are. Right. But until you learn better behavior and start implementing that better behavior, you're going to always be where you are right now. Mm -hmm. 30 years from now, you're talking about I slacked. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you just said so much. I know. Mm. I know. It'd be like that sometimes. I'm hearing between the lines a lot today. My brain's a lot slower right now than it normally is. I really shouldn't have done therapy before this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. There's so much in my brain. You just said so much. I'm so glad you're my husband. <laughs> I've got nothing to add to that. No, I mean, that was... back to the email. That works. Might have made, a, made, made, made a good clip. Okay. I hope it did. It fucking hit me. Okay, continuing on. Oh, hang on, not continuing on. I'll read that one more time. Because I read it, and then I thought of something. This camera angle and, and the way that this pillow is underneath my back pushing my gut forward, I look like a fucking... No, you don't. ...jello roll on here. Stop. Oh, it's bad. Babe. I don't like that. I don't look like that. No, you don't. But don't call it... Oh, my goodness. We're going to sit up straight. And How about we move... Look like a, a non-jelly roll individual. See, but I also this, have jelly look at, rolls. Look at that. No longer have the Buddha belly. Well, that that's Lilo's. But here's mine. Look at that. Yeah. You have a wrinkle in your shirt. My No, that's my fat. I have a tire, a protrusion. In my tummy. It, it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have you seen that, that scene in Click? You want to have a flat the, fight? Goes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, I can. But my pants go in right here, so... We we both sit in here. Pillsbury. Don't be mean to yourself when you talk about yourself. I'm I'm just fixing my posture. Right, but you were mean to yourself. Because I didn't like the way that looked. Right. But you can adjust yourself nicely. And I did. Right, but you didn't have to be mean. Because now I have my tire out <laughs> and I might take it personally. <laughs> Rephrase. Rephrase? Yeah. Uh when I sit like a shrimp, I look like a tubble lard. So I'm going to not do that because it's better for my mental health for me to sit up with good posture. And it's probably better for my, my spine, too. I agree. I will accept the rephrase. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> I give myself enough slack to remain aware of what I have to learn instead of being a victim about not yet being where I want to be. The amount of times I have, had, I have heard people complain about, well, I'll never get there, so why even try? Because they're not where they want to be yet. And because it takes maybe 10, 15, 20 steps, might take you five years to get where you want. Well, that's too much work. I want it right now. Yeah. Well, those people never have it. And if those people right. got it, they would lose it anyways. Yeah. Because they don't understand the work that it takes to get there. Mm -hmm. I can give somebody that's never ran a business before a million dollar business and they would run it into the ground in six months because they have no idea what the fuck they're doing. Right. Don't understand how the run, how it runs, right. the in and out. You have to learn that process in order to, to, to make things last that whole well i'll never get there so i shouldn't try mentality those are failures to me like that's mm -hmm. that's the definition of a loser person to me why should i try when the world's against me no shut the fuck up yeah world's not against you the world is the world mm -hmm. your actions and the decisions that you make is your fucking your shortcomings you know it's really crazy to see the universe move when you start doing something with it right Universe will get the fuck out of your way when you yeah. start doing shit. I, we, I've shown you that. Like the first time we had that conversation, you're like, that kind of makes sense. And then we started making ideas to do shit and we just started doing them. The podcast is- And now is here we are two years later. Number one example. I was like, we could do that. And you're like, yeah. One hour and a half conversation in the car and a week later we had an episode. Yeah. Two weeks later we had a following. Like it's what it felt like anyway. It's <laughs> it's like, what it, felt it, like. it wasn't really, but looking yeah. back on it, it was fucking quick. Yeah. Um, that first recording felt like yesterday. But you just do it. Yeah. And you don't do it from the, oh my God, if this doesn't succeed, I'm, it's going to be the end of the world. You do it because you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And then the money will come, right? Like you fix a problem for somebody. Yeah. You make yourself an asset. You make yourself valuable. And here we are two years later. The, yeah. time, the time would have come or went if we did this or not. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Continuing on. 
I realize that at times I won't learn the lessons of how to be a man until I have certain experiences. But if you're not doing anything to have the experiences, how are you going to learn get the that? lessons? Right. The lessons come from the experience. Comes from failing. Yeah. Two best teachers on the planet is pain and embarrassment. Mm-hmm. Failure feels like both of those to me. So when you do something and it doesn't work out, you can either accept that shitty ass feeling or go, okay, that didn't work. Back to the drawing board. How do I make this work? Right. Because if it, if you try 50 fucking times and on 51 it works, you didn't fail. Mm-hmm. You learned how to do the thing. Yeah. So, All of that was amping up to the win. I right. mean, it's the goal, right? mindset it's all all perspective all right continuing on that said when i fail to be a man to my partner it is very difficult to take it is very difficult to take and i feel it damages her and our relationship so it's like a double whammy it hurts her and because it hurts her it hurts the relationship or he feels bad and it hurts the relationship there's something happening there can you read that again okay I, i was zoning the fuck out just now what were you zoned out on? Um, it nothing, absolutely nothing that was relevant to anything yeah. that we were talking about. Was it like the Jimmy Neutron? No. Got a blast. <laughs> <laughs> what if I said yes? That's exactly it. I was thinking of Jimmy Neutron. That where the fuck? How did you get in my brain? That's what I should have done. Uh, that means that my prayers have been working, and the Lord sees me. And we're starting to work on telepathy. Is that is that what's happening now? <laughs> <laughs> could you imagine? Yeah, I could. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> guys i texted my husband yesterday <laughs> and he he went in to pick up some stuff and there was a little bit of a wait and i was like this sucks and he was like yeah this is terrible like because we're not near each other i was yeah. like i miss you already and i was like oh what is it like part two tra- the travesty yeah <laughs> And I was like, part one was not being able to share our brains. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love you and I love our relationship. I love you too. I love that we text about fun things and not arguments. It's, it's yeah. Life is good. It's just others do that. I get excited when I see your name on my phone. Yeah. Yeah. There's never a this guy. Yeah. Fuck. Right. Right. Really don't want to talk to him right now. But I'll have to just to keep the peace. Right. So can you reread that? Re-read yeah, I'll reread that. That said, when I fail to be a man to my partner, it's very difficult to take, and I feel it damages her and our relationship. Okay, so when I fail to when I fail to be the man that I need to be for my partner, that's that's number one. When I fail to be a man to my partner. Okay, so that's that's number one. That's that's acknowledgement. I know that I'm not living up to the set expectation of what I'm supposed to be. Mm-hmm. It then hurts her, which then hurts me. Yeah. There are three things that are going on there that affect that person. And out of those three things, none of them was enough for him to stop doing that. Damn. So do you think that's a lack of awareness in the moment? Like I'm thinking solely about me and not the marriage? Um, No, I think it's... Okay, so you want me to be totally honest? Yeah. <clears throat> I think that there is a, a blind of... I'm trying so hard, but nothing I try is good enough. And then when it happens, that's just added on top of that proves it right. I'm not good enough. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like uh, there's already the fail of fa- the fear of failure. Are you going back to the, the so why try statement? Because that's yeah. where that felt like to me. That's where it felt like that was yeah, going. Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah. That sucks. That's a shitty fucking mind state to be in. Right. Because at that point, you're just, you were literally just setting yourself up for failure right. over and over, like heartbreak. Yeah. And it's not always like a fuck you mindset. It could be, I'm going to try really hard next time. Like, okay, that sucked, but I'm really, really going to try hard next time. There could be that little blip of hope. And then there's that next extra failure on top of why even try? Like, just fucked up again. So, what about the people who are so used to just doing everything for themselves and making things work for themselves that they don't think about their partner? Say that one more time. Um, what about the people who are always doing everything for themselves and have had to do it for themselves for so long that they put themselves first instead of their partner? Okay. Because that's what I was really <clears throat> originally asking you. In this scenario where... Like him doing that? Yeah. Him, he's got something that he's got to make a decision on or something that's going on and he just does it without thinking. He's on autopilot looking out to, per, 
This is a form of narcissism that everyone has. Right. So you yeah. you feed into that little bit of narcissistic tendency of I have to make sure that I am able to survive, mm-hmm. that I'm not really thinking about them in the moment. The relationship is not held up as a priority over the, the needs of the individuals. Do you think that that could be kind of what's going on here? Um, Because that would speak to a survivor stigma. I mean, it could be, yeah. I, I, I also, okay, so I want to elaborate a little bit further. I don't think it's just one thing either. We, we are creatures who feel multiple things at once. So mm-hmm. I, it could be an amalgamation of things. It could be those two things that we just said combined. Yeah. I think that definitely could play into it. So much to think about. Well, you know what made me think of that is yesterday while we were playing D&D, one of our friends who are newlyweds said, mm-hmm. one of them said my house. And then immediately corrected herself. And I'm like, you have spoke that way <coughs> your entire adult life. Mm-hmm. You're married now and you guys are sharing a house. Do you really think that I don't view that as your home? Right. Like together, like our home instead of your home kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like how to. Yeah. But I think she corrected it more out of respect she, she for did. her marriage. She absolutely did. Yeah. And But common sense, you don't need to do that. If you understand that people are habitual speakers. Yeah. And if you've always said my house. Your mm-hmm. entire fucking life, just because you get married, to break the habit of my house when that is just the way that you explain the home that you reside in, to say our house, there's a, a shift that has to happen there. And for right. a newlywed, that's going to take some time. Right. You can be 15, 20 years and still may slip and say my house instead of our house. Yeah. Is that is that really something that you're going to get hung up on? Like, mm-hmm. this is just not, you know. Continuing on. Yeah, my brain derailed. <laughs> I don't remember what okay. I'm talking about. I historically have a big problem with self-esteem and confidence. I fall into the modern bracket of males who are not sure of themselves. It's because you've never been tested. Mm -hmm. Do not embody their masculine energy by being at times indecisive, anxious, inconsistent, unconscious. Wait, wait. let's 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 look at every one of those as an individual thing, please. Okay, so you want to start with indecisive? Yeah. Okay. Sometimes I don't want to make decisions. Decision fatigue, yeah. So sometimes I'm like, I need you to decide this. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's not relevant to anything. Sometimes it's really relevant to a lot. But depending on my mental faculties, sometimes I'm not able to give a decision right there. And if it's needed, that indecisiveness is normal for people. This falls into how much of this truly matters to me right now compared to all of the other things that I've got going on. And if I just have to make a decision and this is not life altering, mm-hmm. I don't fucking care. Right? Right. So in that scenario, instead of me trying to play the guessing game of what it is that we need to do to make things work, just figure the shit out. I don't care. Right. That's indecisiveness. Mm -hmm. That does speak to um, a lack of masculinity to a degree. But I think when you put that as a broader, broader picture, picture, if you are always indecisive. (laughs) That's where I was going with that. Always indecisive. very different than I just fucking had to make three business meetings this morning. We've just signed another contract. I have to figure out the finalization of the soap line. Um, I have to edit. We've got to go meet Carrie. You have a therapy appointment. The kid's got to be picked up an hour and the dog has to go to the vet today. That's awesome, babe. What do you want for lunch? I don't want to make any more fucking decisions today. Mm -hmm. It's not indecisiveness. Right. There's priorities of where life goes. Okay, so that's the first one for me. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> because that's unrealistic. I handle all the appointments. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> yep. And it just made me check a little, little bit because I know you were just rambling off life things. That's what the last 20, 12, 15 hours of our life has looked like. Yeah, it's been nonstop. Yeah. Uh, no, it's been 24 hours at this point. That is what our, our day has looked like since yesterday afternoon. All the way until we got sat down today. What was yesterday? <laughs> Sunday. We had a whole lot going on over the last two days. It's a it's a haze. I mm-hmm. thought today was Sunday. Today's Monday. Oh, I have to get the children. What time is it? One twenty three. Holy crap! <laughs> I'm, I'm paying attention. I got gotcha. you. Oh my goodness. We can finish this email and wrap okay. up, and then uh, Carrie and I can go look at that oh. Jeep. Oh, that scared the crap, babe. Thank you. Husband's got gotcha. you. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that, found it entertaining funny, or even learn something you didn't know before, share it. And if you're not subscribed, why aren't you? And for those of you who want to support us, get access to exclusive content and live streams, we do have a Patreon. All the links are in the description.